Hi, welcome to Riley Elementary. I'm Beth Ryan, the new principal here, and I'd like to share some of our proposed changes for the upcoming bond proposal. Follow me. All right, we're standing here in our entrance and we do have a secured buzz-in system. They ring the bell, we check them in at the office. Problem is we buzz people in and then we don't know exactly where they go because they have to travel all the way down here until they actually come in contact with our office and a Riley staff person. So while we have the secure buzz-in system, we like, um, we're looking at the proposed changes of moving our office um, to a different location within the school, and we'll talk about that here in a little bit, but that way um, people coming into our school will have direct contact with a Riley staff member. A lot of times we think of our buzz-in system to just protect us from those critical, very, very major emergency, um, like active shooter type situations. However, on a daily basis, um, we wanna keep our students and staff secure. Sometimes we have um, family situations and family dynamics. Um, we can have upset parents and uh, um, people, and we just want to uh, make sure our students are secure and safe, and the best way to do that is to know who is coming in our front door. Okay, we're now in the gymnasium at Riley, and one thing unique from the other four elementary schools in Great Bend is we do have the smallest gym in the district. What you don't see right now is we're preparing for um, students to come, but normally this room is used for uh, servicing physical education to all of our students in addition to shutting it down for about 80 minutes a day for two separate lunch periods. Um, and at that time, it's a big rush to get, get students out, get ready for lunch. Um, it, it's a lot of hustle and bustle going on there in the middle of the day. A little different than the other elementary schools is that this is going to become our full-time cafeteria. Um, so we'll of course be busy with lunchtime, but we'll also have this space to use if teachers have um, some learning that they want to get kids spaced out for, they could bring them down and use this as a multi-purpose room. So right now we're in um, the hallway on the uh, north end of the building. And when our, we do our tornado drills, these hallways are lined, probably four lines of students sitting down um, in the tornado position. We also are the only school with a second level, only elementary school with the second level. So we have to bring kids down and they will go four or five lines deep down in the um, south hallway. It is very tight. We're moving about 330 kids ages three to 12 and trying to get them into these hallways for um, an approaching storm. The proposed solution with the proposed bond uh, is uh, our storm structure would become the Riley Gym. So it would be placed right out outside here and we would be able to get all of the students into that room and have enough space for everybody to be safe. The benefit of a neighborhood school is that we do have a lot of students that walk. Dismissal at Riley is very hectic. It's very scary to have a school on a main highway. Um, and so the flow of after school, pick up, drop off, we have kids going every direction, everywhere. So this would become our main entrance where safe and secure, they would be building on out here would be that solution. And so everybody would be entering the school here and then our parking lot and drop off and pick up lanes would be out um, to the east of, of the school and take up a little bit of our playground. However, we feel that the safety of our students and um, making sure that they get to their parents safely at the end of the day is well worth that sacrifice. 
All right, we are now down here in the hallway in front of our preschool classrooms. And you might be wondering, wait, I thought this was adding preschool. Well, here at Riley, um, through at-risk funds and different Title I funds and things um, of that nature, we have had a four-year-old preschool at Riley for several years and just added um, a section of three-year-olds a few years ago. The benefits of our preschool kids, when they enter kindergarten, it's pretty easy for our kindergarten teachers to tell that they've had a good foundation of what school is all about. School has become very demanding and is very different than from when I attended school or maybe you as well. Uh, what I used to teach, even just several years ago, to eighth graders, um, at the middle school, I'm now seeing some of that being taught to sixth graders. Our kindergartners used to be, you know, for me, that was a lot of play. Now our kindergartners, a lot of them by the end of the year, they're expected to be reading. So our preschool is still pretty play structured and focuses a lot on social emotional skills and just getting to know the ropes of school. So just having that foundation for when they enter kindergarten is very beneficial to their future academic learning. So our Riley Preschool, the, the demand, we just had enrollment the last couple days and it started at one o'clock on Tuesday afternoon and we actually had several parents that um, are so eager to have their kids in our free preschool program that they started lining up at our doors at noon. Um, so we do already have a waiting list for our three-year-olds and our morning four-year-olds. So as you are probably already aware of, to get our preschools in every elementary school, uh, we do have room here at Riley. We are kind of the biggest, have the most classrooms of the other elementary schools. But in order to make that happen at our other elementary schools so that all kids, all preschool parents, can get their kids into a good quality certified teacher preschool program, um, moving those sixth graders is what's going to have to happen. And I know there's some apprehension out there. I've talked to several of the parents here at Riley wondering, when is this gonna happen? Is my sixth grader going to the middle school? And it's okay, I understand that. But I started out here at Riley as a sixth grade teacher, and we always had a joke that Maybe for the first little bit of sixth grade, they were good here at the elementary school, but as time went on, it was like, get them to the middle school. So I'm very excited about the proposal um, in this bond coming up and getting our sixth graders to that middle school. The curriculum right now, right, um, our sixth grade teachers are kind of on their own little island because so many curriculum materials are written for K-5. And then the state standards are written kindergarten to fifth grade, sixth grade to eighth grade. So it makes a lot of sense that those sixth grade teachers would be with other teachers, the seventh and eighth grade teachers, and that curriculum flow and the academics of those sixth graders could really benefit. And um, I would expect to see some increased, some increased academics for our kids. Um, they around this area really most of the schools already have sixth grade in that um, in their middle schools so we're kind of a little different there as well planning activities in a school for um, having all the way from kindergartners to sixth graders sometimes that's um, a little bit difficult because those sixth graders may be at a point that they're not having it with some of that and they would, uh, the transition, it would give them, that transitioning kids from school to school is very difficult. It's very hard on kids. And that would give them three years at that middle school to um, really become a bigger part of the school. So I, I am just a big fan of, I, I will miss the sixth graders when I get to hang out with kids. That's usually where I go to, but I would be very happy to see those really growing, maturing kids get to be with, um, you know, teachers that are teaching those core subjects. They're getting to move around. I'm, I'm excited for our sixth graders. 
Okay, we've moved outside now from our preschool rooms and we're standing on our, our nice large playground. Of course, some of that's gonna be taken with parking, pickup and drop off. Um, but as you notice, this is a playground that serves kids three years old up to 12 years old. And it's just time. I started here about 22 years ago and this playground hasn't changed much. So I'm very excited about the solution, the proposal uh, to get some new playgrounds for kids. Kids need to move and they need to play. Um, the one thing in the proposal that we'll do is over here, we will have an actual, our preschool rooms and kindergarten rooms will be moving further down, they'll have an entrance straight onto their own playground. So we'll have age appropriate toys for those younger kids. We'll have some, the older kids will still have some basketball. Um, hopefully we'll be getting rid of the rusty swings and the rusty backstop um, and getting some decent grass for soccer fields so our kids can be, um, they can have that outlet because when they're in those classrooms, they're working hard and they do deserve those breaks and, and outlets. So that's the, another part of the proposal that I'm very excited for our students. Thank you for visiting Riley today. I've enjoyed showing you around. We're really excited getting geared up to welcome our students here on August 19th. If you wanna learn more about the bond proposals, visit greatvinschools.net. I appreciate your time.